All right, here we are again. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to another edition of Chris, the Light Skin Legend Podcast. I am your host, Chris. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, first of all, before we start, uh, I want to say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. I know it was yesterday. Um, yeah, man. Happy Mother's Day, man. Um, peace and love. We know what y'all do. Uh, you guys will appreciate it. Uh, we love you all. We thank you guys for, for raising these kids and, and all of that good stuff, man. And, uh, yeah, man. So, uh, happy Mother's Day to y'all. Shout out to y'all, man. It's all love for me. I'm a mama's boy. So, you already know what it is, man. I used to cry. Shit, I was a crybaby, too. That's the crazy shit. But anyway, we don't need to get into all of that. I mean, I'm I'm sharing, though. I'm I'm sharing my life, though. So, I guess we do need to get into it. So, yeah, man. So, rest in peace to my mother, man. Virginia Slim, man. Man. Uh, to the, you know what I mean? Rest in peace, man. And uh, to everybody that don't, that uh, that have mothers, man. Love your mom, man. Hug your mom, man. Uh, repair your relationship with your mom, man. Uh, and all of that good stuff, man. Now, ladies, I will say this. Man. <laughs> Next month is Father's Day. Father's Day. Okay? I get it. Single moms raising raising kids by themselves. I understand. But to us out here that are raising our kids, fuck that. That's our day. Don't take that day away from us. All right. Maybe your your baby dad is a deadbeat, all of the shit. That's cool. That's him. Hey, man, I'm raising my kids and I want my day. All right. It's already bad enough that they put the shit in uh, uh, in June. Okay. And they put it. They put it in June. To where the kids are out of school, so they can't even make us a, a nice looking card. <laughs> they give us those little, little, little lined paper folded up cards. It's ridiculous, man. But anyway, I appreciate it though. But anyway, not about me. It's about you all, the mothers. Hey, we thank you. Keep doing a good job, man. We're here to support you. Uh, we're here to support women, period, man. Uh, at least try to, at least. <laughs> but yes, man, but okay. Keep doing the job that you're doing. All right, man. I wanted to start the podcast off with the with the sad news. Like, let's 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 get this out the way right now. All right. Um, 2020, we already know has been kind of crazy anyway. It's been bullshit. Um, and uh, with the COVID, people dying left and right. Uh, with that being said, we lost uh, we lost some more. Um, uh, uh, I guess celebrities. I guess you want to call it. You know what I mean? Um, we lost, uh, wasn't it little Richard, man? A one by the loom, You know what I'm saying? We lost, we lost a dude, man. Um, Andre Harrell. You know what I'm saying? Mot- Motown Records, man. Discovered Diddy. Man. This one, these, these deaths, man, is 2020, man. Can we just stop for a minute? I, w- I want to get out, man. <laughs> like, I, I, I just want to chill for a minute, man. Like, let's just hold on, man. And, uh, again, shout out to the nurses and doctors again as well doing your thing again we can't uh overlook that uh man continue on that front line doing what you do but yeah ah <sighs> quarantine 2020 now let's get to some fuckery Takashi 69 i didn't know that they are rewarding snitches now mind you I'm not in that lifestyle. I'm not a gangster. I'm I'm like I told you the last last episode, man, I'm not about that life. All right. I I, I like I said, but if you're gonna live it, you gotta play by those rules. And those rules ain't fair. I I'm gonna tell you that right now. I'm cool. <laughs> That's why I no, I, I don't want no pieces of it. I'm not a badass. I told y'all last episode. I'm not a badass. I don't want no parts of that. But anyway, so the dude gets out, um, and, uh, I guess he's embracing his, uh, uh, he's, he's embracing his truth. He's, he's, he's living his, 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 he's, he's living his truth, man. He's, um, he's out there ready to get on Instagram live going crazy. Listen, I don't listen to his music. That's not my type of music, but I, but I do understand talent, right? I do understand talent. I see talent. I get it. Um, I just don't like the fact, uh, that you could do these things, man, with the with the snitching and 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 
like really interrupting a lot of people's lives, man, and messing up a lot of, well, I'm going to say fucking up a lot of people's lives. That's the part that I don't get, man. You, you <clears throat> Cool, you got out. I'm with it. Because I want, I would want to get out, right? <laughs> and let's be, let's be real. A lot of people in that situation is probably going to snitch, all right? I'm not saying I wouldn't snitch. I don't know. Being being put in that situation, who knows what the hell I would do? Who knows what you would do, right? So, with that being said, I just want to say this to the kids, man. To all the kids out there, like, don't don't be out here trolling. See, back in the day when we was kids growing up, see, we knew if we talk shit, it's gonna be a fight. We, you know, you was gonna get punched in the mouth. It wasn't gonna be none of this, you know. I'm saying I could hide behind the screen bullshit because you know at some point. You are going to see somebody on the street. You are going to see them. There's no hiding, no getting away from any of that. So that's back in our day, right? The, the real ones know, man. Like, it, it'd be on. We didn't have all this, you know, technology like it is today. And people hiding behind these keyboards. Hide behind these keyboards if you want. But I'm going to be real with you, man. When you see people on the street, it should be on. And that's what I'm saying. So let's go back to the fact that dude interrupting lives and, and, and you know and then trolling and, and listen man i don't mind you getting getting to the bag you know that's what the kids say though right they, they get to the bag shit i get to the bag too myself but i worked <laughs> you know what I'm saying? but i work a job all right so now so the dude goes on instagram i guess drops a song embracing his snitchingness hey man i i gotta say this i I admire people that can embrace their truth, right? Speak your truth, embrace your truth. I'm with it. But when you kind of like messed up a lot of people's lives doing this and 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 and, and really and then like kind of slapping people in the face with it, hell no. But hey, do you, man? Do you? I w- I wouldn't do it. I would probably lay low. I'll probably stay the hell out the way, but hell, that's, that's me. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, you do what you do, man. I I, like the trolling thing. Hey man, have at it. Do you. All right. (sighs) I guess we got to stay on some sad news too. Um, uh, the dude in Georgia, man, uh, 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 that got, uh, (laughs) hunted down, man. If you want to say, man, like, uh, it's 2020, man. Uh, what's his name, man? Ahmad, Ahmad Aubrey, Ahmad Aubrey. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, but yeah, man, we're living it like it's 2020. Like, is it really 2020? Are we? Are, is this still happening? I think that's the question, right? This is still happening in America. In America, the America, the Great, the Amer- America. This is still happening. We still have to live like that. Like, what is really going on? Two dudes pull up in the truck. Suspected the dude was stealing. Like, okay, you you, you robbing houses? Hey, man. Let's say he was. Okay, hypothetical. Let's just say he was. It's okay to hunt him down and jump out trucks and kill him? Like, that requires a death sentence? That's a death penalty? So you're telling me no due process. All right. A system that you all have made. <laughs> hey, due process. Hey, um, innocent till proven guilty. What happened to all of that? What happened to all of that? It saddens me. Because I have teenagers, right? And <laughs> what do you, how do you, okay, you explain this. The, some of the, the conversations that we have to have with our youth, right? It's, it's nuts, man. Like, for instance, my son, okay? Got a little nice little afro, tapered up afro, right? It's pretty long. He got good hair. Now, as for me, uh, my hairline been gone, okay? But he asked me, he's like, Dad, can I uh, 
uh, get dreads? Can I can I go get uh, my hair done and, and get it dreaded up? And I'm thinking about that, right? First of all, to have to think about that. It's almost like a, a life and death decision. Because on one end, it's like, hey, look. I don't mind you having dreads. But I know you're going to get profiled. You're going to get looked at kind of crazy. Which is, that's already nuts in itself. Because why can't people just have their natural hair? This is, this is what our hair does. This is, you know, our natural hair. Like, so why is that even, like, why do I have to think that way? Like, I have to think about what, what how you're going to be looked at by the police when you're out in these streets. Um, how you get looked at, profiled. I, I got to think about this. And mind you, he's a teenager, 17. And I'm sitting there like, damn, I, I really have to think about this decision like this? I got to go this in depth? Like you might get harassed out there. You, you, uh, when you get pulled, you get pulled over and, and you got to make sure your hands is out and, and, and make sure you don't make no sudden moves. And also, like I said, I have now you're asking for dreads, which I'm fine with. Right. But I'm just thinking about the other people out there. Right. I'm thinking about the people that's going to be looking at you. Right. And then like, take this a mod situation. I'm like, bruh, <sighs> You know, and, and these conversations, it, it's sad that we got to have these conversations in our hoods, man, and in, in, in our homes with our kids. And we got to, and we got to, you know, so make a long story short, son, can you have dreads? I'm going to say yes. But also, I'm going to have this talk with him as well. And I'm going to say, look, remember, this is how it comes. This is what comes with it. It's sad I got to say this in 2020 in America. Hey, look, you're going to have dreads. They're going to look at you this way. They're going to look at you that way. And, and and that's just what comes with it, man. This is what comes with the territory. So I, here's, here's a question I pose. Here's a question I pose. Do white people have to have these conversations with their kids? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do, do white people sit in homes? And talk to their kids about police encounters. When you encounter a police. Hell, let's not even say police. Let's say encounter crazy white dudes in a truck accusing you of something. Right? You know, same thing. Is it, 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 seems, it seems like the, the, uh, 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 the, the Zimmerman shit. Right? Trayvon Martin, man, rest in peace. But that's what this feels like. Why are we why are we constantly haunted, man? You know what I'm saying? What happened? Hold on. Here's another thing, right? For you two dudes in the truck. How in the hell do you feel like it is your duty to make the to to to, to, to approach this man? Right? Whatever happened to apprehension? Remember that term? <laughs> and listen, and the sad part about it, he didn't have no weapon, he didn't have no gun, and you guys are not the police. All right, for one. Y'all are not the police. What happened to calling the police? Shit. Even even then, though. I mean, let's let's face it, even then, he probably, you know what I'm saying, it probably didn't look good because these dudes were ex, ex-policemen, right? Or one of them was, right? The dad was. So it, it probably would have went bad. It would have went sideways, too. But it, that's the sad part, man. That's the sad part. Like all of this, all of this bullshit, man. Like I said, it, 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 getting tired of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Just like a lot of other people too, man. And, and I don't want to, and I, I definitely don't want to, I don't condone violence, right? Um, but it's going to come down to, uh, us shooting back. And, and it might even cause like a civil war. You know what I'm saying? And it might not be black versus white. Right. I mean, that's what it is now, because we're, we're obviously we're under attack and we got to We got to move like we you know, it's like we got to move dangerously now. I think we I think we should move a little dangerously now. Shit. Oh, this bullshit. But anyway, back to the Civil War. Shit I'm thinking. Right. So. Like I said, it might not be black versus white. But it. 
it might it might be rich poor it, it might even come down to that as well I don't know man I don't know just some of my thoughts what I think about the shit I don't know man some of this shit is kind of it's kind of nuts man when you when you think about it okay so I got those parts out I had to get those parts out man so move along let's move along to the um uh to the next segment man I want to get let's talk about some let's talk about some sports man let me get my coffee you already know what it is I gotta drink my coffee man hold on let me get let me get some of this in me real quick mm. ah mm. you already know it's good for you but that's what I'm gonna say so I think it's good for me yeah that's why I drink this shit mm. all right Let's get to sports, man. Um, NFL. NFL schedules came out. Uh, if you don't know by now, which you should already know, I'm a Raider fan. And uh, so, yeah, man, they, they, they put out the, the 2020 schedule. Uh, Las Vegas, man. We in Vegas, baby. <laughs> we in Vegas. Is y'all, is y'all, listen, man, y'all talk about us leaving Cali, man. And that's cool, man. But still, y'all coming to Vegas. Let's be real. Y'all gonna come and sit your asses down to some seats, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all about to come sit your ass down to some seats. So yeah, man. Um so yeah, the schedule came out. Let me, let me take a let's take a look at the schedule. Shit. Let me take a look. Bear with me for for a few moments here. Yes, buddy. Yes. Anyway. From the first glance at it, what I realized is, I feel like we can go ten to six. Yeah, I know. I know the haters are gonna hate, and that's cool. You supposed to. You're not supposed to like my team. I'm not supposed to like your team, and I and I don't believe me. And I and I don't like your team. I like my team. <laughs> we ain't supposed to like each other's team. You know what I'm saying? People say it's hate, right? People say it's hate. I don't even think it's hate. When you when you we're talking about sports and, and and we're battling and arguing about sports, man, I don't, I don't even call it hate. I just call it I call it it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's what I call it. I call it it is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like hey, y'all don't like us, we don't like you. You know what I mean? And that and that's and that's really what it is. I mean, to be honest too, I I, I gotta be real though. I can't even lie to you guys. I gotta be honest. When I look up the schedule. And it doesn't say Oakland, man. That trips me out. <laughs> Las Vegas, Whew. man. That's up, man. All right. So I'm not gonna bore you guys too long. Here we go, man. Week one. All right. And this is my schedule. This is the Raiders' schedule. All right. I'm gonna talk about y'all other teams later. Ah, whatever. This is my podcast. Whatever. You'll do what the fuck you want. <laughs> but all right, man. So. We have the Panthers first first week. Yeah, Panthers. All right, you got you got Bridgewater in there. All right, you got McCaffrey. You know what I mean, okay, okay. But you got a new coach, and on the strength of that, I think we're gonna go and get the dub. And it's you know it's at their house. You know what I'm saying? I think we're gonna get the dub, man. And then week two. Week two, uh, we have uh, the New Orleans Saints at home to open up the Death Star. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You guessed it. The Vegas Raiders, man. We're going to open that thing up. Man, I went and looked for tickets, man. And let me tell y'all something, man. The tickets are ridiculous for that first home game. Damn near thousands of dollars, man. Shit, man. And listen, the the height, the, the, the seats way up there like this. You got to look at it like that. Those seats, man, they like starting off at nine to a thousand. Bro, listen, I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> I might be in there for that thousand. Crazy as it sounds, but this is history. Um, you know, we've been in Vegas. Like, I'm pretty sure like a lot of you guys, you know, went and partied in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? What? Hey, fuck it. Let's go. Thousand dollars. All right. I'm, hey, man, to see the first game. In a new stadium, and you know, man, Oakland, and I still, I'm still calling Oakland from time to time. I'm still gonna call them Oakland. Um, to have a new stadium, 
where you don't where you didn't have to you don't have to um uh uh uh, uh you know like the toilets actually work uh nothing you know it ain't backing up uh you know stuff like that just to have the new bells and whistles man that's what i'm rolling with man to have those new bells and whistles man anyway um some noticeable games i'm not gonna go through the whole schedule bore y'all with that but there's some noticeable games on there man uh, i believe we got like four primetime games um shit awesome awesome all right you know you got those got those chiefs you already know the chiefs you know we got our you know our division that we play blah 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 uh but we also got the new look patriots on there <laughs> the new look man listen if belichick come out and he had his boys playing if he have New England playing, bro, dude, I'm a, I'm gonna give him the greatest coach ever. I'm, I'm, hey, you get that title, but I don't think they're gonna be balling like that. To be honest with you, you know what I'm saying, uh, we got Tampa Bay on there. Okay, Brady over there. That's gonna be a good one. And then Grunt go over there. And Grunt gonna come out of retirement. Man, this is some, man, this is some phony baloney bullshit. How you come out of retirement and go play with the homie? That's crazy. I see what you did there. I understand it. That's what people do. All right. And uh yeah, man. So uh yeah, it's a it's a good looking it's a good looking schedule there. Good looking schedule there, man. Like I said, I say ten and six, man. Like I said, I can go it and then bore y'all with all the breakdowns and you know the strategy. But just looking at the the draft, looking at um who we picked up, um, seeing what other teams did. I'm like I said, I, I like I like what we did. I like car. I like what we did. There, there you have it, man. Can I get a, can I get a sip of some coffee on that one? Yeah. Shit, I'm gonna sip me some coffee on that one. Ooh. It does it to me every time. It's pretty good. Delicious. Delicioso. You already know what it is. Mm. Yeah, man. So yeah, um, yeah, ten to six, man. I don't care what y'all say. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And we're making a playoff appearance, man, because it's about time, right? I believe in Carr. I don't care what y'all believe in. I believe in Carr. So that's the um, that's my little uh, sports wrap up for the for the NFL draft. Um, I'm gonna have some people come in and get all in depth with all of it, and we gonna have some good conversations about that. Uh, but as of right now, man, we we chilling. Um, I'm trying to see who else did good in the draft, man. And you Dallas fans, man. Yeah, you Cowboy fans, man. <laughs> yeah. We talk about y'all shit, too. Oh, yeah. Dak Prescott. Okay. You telling me he better than Carr? You a lie. You a lie. He ain't better than Carr, man. And then y'all and then y'all got the little red rifle over there, huh? Oh, Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton might push for that starting spot. What is you talking about? I know he's from that area. I know he's from Texas. I get it. But that man might push for that spot. Because, Dak, you ain't getting 40. You're not getting 40. 40 million? Hey, I believe Andy Dalton feels like he could take your spot. That's what I believe. Now, listen, man. I'm just I'm just Joe Blow over here talking my shit about sports. But, damn it, that's what I believe. That's what I think it is. Um... Shit, you Niner fans, you Niner fans, ooh we. I like what y'all did in the draft. That that receiver kid Ayako, Jenny Jenny Ayako is that his name? <laughs> no, I like what y'all did in the draft. Um, I like that D tackle dude, man. I mean, if you hear his backstory, my goodness, man. So y'all got a tough one right there. That dude right there, is solid. Uh, Ken Law, I believe his name is. Yeah, man, that dude right there. I think he's going to um, create a lot of havoc for you guys. Um, you're losing Buckner. I believe it's a good fit. Uh, like I said, I like what y'all did with that receiver. Uh, the dude from Arizona State, Aiko, or I, I forget his name. I don't want to just uh, fuck his name up like that, but but I like what y'all did there. Um, shit, who else? Who else? Fan base, I need to fucking, I need to fucking blow up. Shit. Uh, Cincinnati Bengal fans. Hey, man, it is what it is. You got Burrow. Y'all, y'all, y'all did y'all think you tanked for whoever you, you you got who you wanted? Cool, man. I'm glad you're happy. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you're happy. Um, shit, man. Who else is out there? We could talk about. 
Yeah, man. But anyway, uh, let me see. Did I touch the them Steelers? Yeah, let me talk about them Steelers. Shit, I forgot who y'all took in the draft. Because y'all traded, I know y'all traded y'all first round pick to get uh, the corner from uh, Miami. I don't think y'all really did anything that really just made me look and say, oh, okay. But hey, you got a veteran quarterback. He's coming back. I heard he's working out now. <laughs> I heard Ben Roethlisberger Rob, Rob, ben is working out now. And which is cool, man. That's what's up, man. Get your workout on, man. I, I get it, man. That's uh, you finally working out. I mean, you're not as gonna get as buff as me. <clears throat> Show the guns there. You ain't gonna get as buff as me, but uh, keep doing your thing. Uh, you are, you are a Hall of Famer and all of that. So, yeah, I think whatever. Uh, those Buffalo Bills, man. Let me see. Yeah, man. Y'all y'all signed. Y'all traded for Diggs, Stephon Diggs from the Vikings. Okay. Uh, I forgot to look at y'all draft. Y'all y'all Buffalo, man. What are y'all gonna do, man? Um, uh, shit, Minnesota, Minnesota. Y'all got Kurt Cousins still, man. What are you gonna do, man? You got Kurt still, man. Um, but you still got Thielen out there. Uh, I like Thielen, man. Um, uh, but let's see if he can do it uh, without Stephon Diggs, though. Who? And this is what we're gonna find out about the Vikings, right? With Diggs and Thielen. Who who helped each other? Like who ate? You know what I mean? Like did did Thielen help help Diggs? Did Diggs help Thielen? You know what I mean? And like with that dual threat like that, I mean I'm pretty sure they helped each other and they and that's why they both were eating. You know what I mean? But let's see now. Let now since he's gone, all right, Thielen, you the number one. Let's see what's happening. And stuff on Diggs, you out there in uh, Buffalo, uh, and now you got you you still got a what a second third year quarterback? Ah. Huh? Good luck with that, man. Good luck with that. But let's see. Let's see if you can ball out uh, with uh, the – man, I forgot the dude's name. Y'all know the dude's name, man, the quarterback, bro. Look it up. Google this shit. Maybe I should have Googled it, <laughs> but I didn't. <laughs> but I know who it is, man. Allen. Allen. Josh Allen. That's right. Josh Allen. So, yeah, man. But all in all, man, um, I feel like um, – I feel like it's going to be a good season if we even have a season. Let's, let's talk about that, right? Like I want to go to the game and all. I, I especially want to get to that that uh the Monday nighter for the Raiders, right? I want to get to that uh to that Monday that opener, man, the home opener, man. Open up the stadium, man. You know what I mean? And let me tell you something, man. When 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 new stuff open up, this is what I like to do. I don't know if y'all like to do it, but this is what I like to do. I like to go to the bathrooms and like I want to be the first person to say I took a shit. You know what I'm saying in the stadium. You know what I'm saying. I want to be one of the first. Say, yeah, when that stadium opened up, man. Remember when that stadium opened up? Yeah, man, I took a shit, man. I went into that toilet, man. I took a shit. That's the, I'm that type of guy. I I know it's weird, but you know I don't know. I just want to be that first person to say, man, damn, I, I sat on this, I sat on this, I sat on that motherfucker, man. I just and I ripped one, man. But I wanted to be a good one though, right? I wanted to be like, I, I wanted to be great. I wanted to be one of those solid ones that just you know what I'm saying that it, that that you let sit and you let it boil in your stomach for a little bit, like let it boil. Let it marinate a little bit, and and, and obviously you want to you want to eat good fiber, you know what I'm saying? You want to have good fiber in your system, right? And and you want to you want to just let that thing sit up. So you you want to you want to go get you some some like uh, I like to eat broccoli, and I like to eat um, like my favorite one of my favorite cereals is Life, um, and then oh shredded wheat. Oh man, the the frosted mini shredded wheat. So I like to eat that because it's high in fiber, right? So I get that. And then you just eat that and some beans and some beans. Let that marinate. Let that marinate. Let it come to a boil. Sit on that toilet. You know what I mean? And let that door open up. You know what I mean? Let that let that door open up, man. And just let that waste out. But anyway. So. For the home opener. For the Las Vegas slash Oakland Raiders. <laughs> I want to be in that stadium that day. And I want to take a fat shit in a toilet. That's that's one of my goals for 2020. That's my goal. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Enough talk about that. Um shit, man. What else what else we got going on? Man, what else we got going on out here, man? Shit, quarantine. 
quarantine. We're still quarantined. I, th- I think we're still quarantining, right? Some of us are. Are you still quarantined? I'm quarantined still. You know what I mean? But I wanted to ask. When they let us out, right? When California, right? This podcast is taped in Sacramento, California. When they when they open up California, what are y'all doing? What are y'all gonna do? What is like? What is the first place you're gonna hit? Question though. Are clubs gonna open up? Okay. Are the bars gonna open up? Like, how are we doing this? Are we are we are we really doing this? Or you know what I'm saying? Like, what what are y'all gonna do? I mean, me personally, I'm kind of cool. Well, uh, you know, I'm not doing shit. I, I'm I'm still going to stay my ass inside and I'm going to chill the hell out. But, OK, they're going to talk about opening these gyms, right? I want to go to the gym hella bad. I want I want to listen. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I want to go hoop. I want to go put some shots up. Right. I want to go lift some weights. But when they first open it up, <laughs> not this guy. I'm chilling. I'm going to wait and I'm going to watch. Like I said, cuz I want to I want to see like like even with the social distancing thing. Right? But if we're in a gym, right? And you guys know me, when I'm in a gym, you know I me, mean? my workouts, you already know. You know I me, mean? you you hot, sweaty, uh, uh shit flying everywhere, you know what I mean? You know you picking up you picking up weights that this dude just picked up. And, uh, and, and she picked up and, oh, and then sit, ooh, like if, if you're doing the bench press, right? You lay on your back, say you got a sweaty ass back and you lay and you laying on the thing. Like, I know people wipe down the, you wipe down the seats, but that's like, come on, man. Like, what's really, is that, is that really working? Like, are you really doing that? Like, I mean, like, I'm not, you, you got a sweaty back, bro. All right. And you, and you, and you, nah, man, lay a towel down. Play a towel down. But see, that's what I'm saying. So that and that's the reason why I'm gonna wait. Cause I don't know. Cause I don't know if they uh they about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm cool. Um, yeah, man, I'm cool, man. So anyway, so here's my thing. I'm I'm gonna wait. I'm still gonna wait. Cause I wanna see how y'all I wanna see how y'all do. I wanna see what y'all catch. I wanna see what y'all get. <laughs> to be honest with y'all. I'm, I'm 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 really just yeah I'm watching I'm gonna say, oh okay oh y'all doing that all right you know what I'm saying I want to see if the uh, the numbers spike back up you know what I'm saying I'm good so that's what I'm gonna do but it's not to say I don't want to get out it's like I do want to get out when I go to, when I go shopping when I go to the stores because I because I you know I don't know if you guys know this but I am a people watcher I love watching people do not ask me why do not at me. You know what I mean? But I love watching people. I'm a people watcher. So now when I go to the stores, man, I, I just, man, it's, 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 it's almost like a club in itself. It's almost like going to a club, right? Going to the store. Cause you're going to see some new people. L- listen, man. Okay. Some people are dressing up still. All right. I can give them that. Hey man, whatever makes you feel good. Cause Hey, you, you, yeah, man, whatever makes you feel good, man. Dress up, definitely take showers, baths, whatever you do apply a deodorant um and all of that hey man even wear some of your expensive cologne fuck it what are we waiting for all right what are we waiting for so yeah man sometimes i get dressed up just to go to the shop uh, to the store like i said it's like a club you're gonna see some people i want to see people you know what i mean we are all stuck in our houses and we're just looking at each other and you keep seeing the same people bruh (laughs) i want to see new people so when i go out that's what i do you know what I'm saying? I'm people watching and, and, it, and it's, and it's, and it's, and it's, and it's almost like it's fulfilling something inside my soul. You know, it's, it's, it's rewarding. Um, it's almost like I'm, uh, it just rejuvenates me like, Oh shit. There are people on the outside. <laughs> there are people out there. You gotta look around like, Oh shit. There really is people out there. And I really dig it, man. Yeah, man, and I really dig the shit, man. So anyway, I go outside, I go to Walmart a lot, and I people watch. But again, I'm you know still gonna do my distancing, man. I'm still gonna put that mask on, you know what I mean, and all of that. But I wanted to know what y'all gonna do, you know, especially with uh, when they start opening up shit. You know what I mean? Uh, people are tripping off of getting haircuts, man. Take a look at my shit. Take a look at that. <laughs> do I need a haircut, man? <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not tripping over no damn barbershops, man. <laughs> man, shit, I, I go in there and shave this shit off. That's what I do. I ain't got no hairline, man. I, I ain't got no hairline, man. I miss it, though. Man, I remember I used to give myself, like, fucked up lineups and shit. Damn. Them days is over. That's probably the reason why I don't got no line, no, no, no fucking hairline now, man. Cause I, I, I was fucking practicing on my fucking hairline. Fuck my shit up, man. That's why my shit gone, man. I had to just now. I gotta just take that razor, man. Just ah, ah. You know what I mean? But I'm not gonna talk about the, the ball spot in the back of my head, though. Had a ball spot back there. We ain't gonna talk about that. Um. So I mean, maybe I had to just do it, man. I'm embracing. I'm embracing my um. I'm not even gonna call it old age, but I, but hey, listen, man. When you start losing your hair and the hair start coming up, man, let it go. Man, word, man, word. Let that shit go. I let my shit go. You can let your shit go. That's the little PSA I got for y'all. Anyway, uh, oh yeah, shit, man. Before I let Michael Jordan die, ooh wee, Michael Jordan died. My goodness, seven and eight. Very, very, very emotional. Bruh, I was down there crying. You know what I'm saying? When like when he lost his like when he when, when he was talking about the Gary Payton and you know, Gary Payton was you know, Gary Payton. I had Gary Payton. I was going through some other things. And those other things was the death of of, of his father. Those other things was winning uh uh, uh closing closing uh, the Seattle Supersonics out um on Father's Day, bruh. Man, I damn near lost it. I damn near lost it. Now, both of my parents are gone. Rest in peace. Love them to death. And so I, I just was sitting there watching that, and I was just like, the goose, I got goosebumps. I was like, oh, my goodness, man. Like, like these people are human, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, 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 <laughs> they're not exempt from this life shit. They're not exempt from this life shit. They're human, too, man. Um. And I and I, and that's what I think that's another thing why I like this doc so much, man. Just because you see the human side, like like we all know the star, like we all know the star, man. The human side, bro. They feel they have emotions too. They're human, bro. We're all human, and and they feel emotions too. But I will say this: <laughs> when he was kicking ass, when he was kicking his teammates' ass, man, that like. He said something in that doc where he was he was like you know, I think it was toward the end of seven episode seven it was like toward the end and um and they were playing the clips you know as he was talking about like basically how much you know he wanted it but also how much he wanted it for his teammates and bro and like the work like how he said like you know I I, I wanted it that bad for me but I also wanted it that bad for them so if you wasn't re- willing to conform and 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 bust your ass this way. Then don't play, man. Like you, you might not make it, bruh. Then you want to say you want to talk about some goosebumps? Then, Whew. that was heavy. That was heavy from a from a, a competitor's standpoint. That was heavy. My goodness, motherfucking MJ. Wow. Wow. Okay. That shit touched me, man. Like I said, I had goosebumps all night. Like I was, I was watching it right. I didn't. My girl was right there. I, I didn't want to cry though. You know what I'm saying? But a little tear, like she was, if she was sitting on my right, then my left eye, my left eye, like a little tear. Oh my goodness! I was like, oh, this dude. Like I said, <clears throat> knew he was the greatest dude. Knew he was great. All of that. But uh, but with that being said, man, like to see all the like this, the footage from all of this different that's that's different bro that's like that's different like <laughs> he went like that he wins different bro like his his like i said he's like alpha 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 right is there three alphas i don't know man like there's alpha male then there's alpha other alpha. man he's like he's king alpha man now listen me as a competitor me when i used to play ball like i said don't i used to play I used to play. Don't play that. Don't do that. <laughs> but what I used to play, like I, I, I knew some competitive guys. Like I, I call myself competitive. I didn't, I didn't vocalize a lot, right? I would just, I would just like to play. I would just like to do the work, right? I just do my work, 
and I just get I get in and get out. Didn't want to let my teammates down, right? So I get in and do my work. But when I seen, um, but when I seen how this dude leads, right? And it was like when he said, "I'm I'm not going to ask you to do something I wouldn't do." Okay. That's a leader. That's a leader. That's a leader. I'm going to tell you right now. I was ready to suit up. All right. Take my kids to the front yard and just bust their ass for no reason. Right. And then I was going to work hard and I was going to show them. <laughs> I was going to show them. Right. But that's it. like I was I'm, I was ready to get up and go push myself to the limit, man. I was like, man, I'm following you, bro. You, you, you got me. I'm sold. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna work out. Hey, man, Space Jam, man, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come shoot. Yeah, I'm gonna come work out. Man, I'm following you wherever you going. I'm following you. That's how I felt. Like, damn, that's a leader, leader. You know what I mean? You, you, you hardly, you hardly run into those type of like. That's different, man. And like I said, I, I played a lot of ball, man. You know what I mean? Wasn't great. All right, I held my own though. Don't yeah, but. And I and I've seen you know especially like being young balling, and you see you know you see how people lead and shit and man that though that that's off the charts, that's off the charts. Yeah. Anyway, that's just man the MJ doc man. If you're not watching man, I, I suggest you watch man. Oh, but before I leave that topic, before I leave that topic, I want to talk about Scottie Pippen a little bit. And and again, he, he he apologized and everything. But when he quit on his team and didn't sub in, or didn't go back in the game, you know, to to I, I guess to get the last shot, and I guess he was taking the ball out. I guess he wanted to take the last shot. Kuko ended up taking it. He got the last shot, hit it, right? Boom! They go to the locker room. I mean, they won the game. They're excited. They won the game and everything, but then they go to the locker room. And uh, the emotions about, like, damn, Scott, like, damn, Scott, you, you, you quit on us. And then when they talked about Cartwright crying, you know, get up, making a speech and crying. Like, or not, I'm not going to say crying like boo-hooing, but, yeah, I mean, if if you've been in locker rooms and play sports and stuff, you you know, like, because you give it your all and, and, you know, and all of that. But, but to actually stand up in front of the team, basically call them, you know, Damn, Scott, because this ain't you, right? You're doing something like totally out of character. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the emotion from that, and then and then and then Scotty comes back, you know, in the dock and, and, and explains like, hey, you know, if you if you could have done it over, he wouldn't have done it over. I mean, he's sorry that it happened, and I kind of get that. But I I know one thing, um, you don't quit on your team. Like that's just that's just law. That's science. It's whatever it is, but you don't quit on your team, man. That's what you don't do. But anyway, ah, uh, well, I think that's about it, man. I, I ain't got nothing else for you. <laughs> Stomach growling. Let me drink some coffee. Shit. Yeah, I ain't got nothing else, man. Uh, yeah, man. Episode three, man. Shit, here we are. I want to thank you guys for listening, man. Supporting your boy. Mm, delicious. Uh, I'll be back next week, man, with another installment. You know, whatever. Again, you guys, um, be safe out there. Um, uh, take care of each other, love each other, all of that good shit. And uh, I'll let you guys later, man. I'm out. Peace.